hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide sending you the purest of love and light yes god is for us who can be against us we're blessed we're secured we're anchored, and we're highly protected so welcome if it's your first time returning soul tribers new soul tribers thank you so much for your continuous love and your support thank you for your comments as well i love hearing from you thank you so we have here the first card it says from the pit to the palace and a lot of you are common with that uh title or that phrase or saying you know it's about joseph his life because he was thrown in the pit by his brothers and sold into slavery and um he went through a lot of ups and downs accusations you know thrown into prison and yet still because of the calling on his life nothing could stop him god still has a plan for him and he ended up in the palace you know running the palace so here it says now it's not funny so a lot of people who have done a lot of things and I can only imagine even thinking about Joseph's brothers when they found out that he was still alive and he was now in the palace actually they had famine in their homeland and they had to come all the way to where Joseph is in order to seek food and now realizing the person who they need I mean they need food they traveled to look for food and it's like the person who has control over the food is the same person that they wanted to kill the same person that they hated so much because he had a dream and he was brave enough and he was you know he shared it with them and because of that they hated him because he had a dream that, you know, they bowed down to him. And they hated him for that. When they saw him coming on that fateful day, it's like, they're like, oh, here comes the dreamer. And all his brothers, older than him. So it's like, for a lot of you, a lot of us, your dream, your dream will cause people of all ages, all stages, all walk of life, to be fearful, to be insecure, to be jealous of you. And so this is why it is so careful. It is, it is so wise. It is so important to be careful of who you share your dreams or your deepest thoughts with. Because you can just say something to somebody because for you it's no big deal about your plans and the things you want to do. And when you share it, you thought that this person or these people would be happy for you. But in fact, it, it, it triggered something inside of them. And they hate you for that. And they, you know, and they will plan and strategize how they can try to remove you from the picture. Because it scared them. It's too big for them. The brothers, they were afraid of his dream coming to pass. So it's like, let's get rid of him. Because if we get rid of him, then we will never have to bow to him. And let me tell you, years went by and the promise of God still came to pass. Yes, the, the, the people, they may try to delay, they may try to slow it down. But it's like when the hands of God is on your life, what he has for you, it's for you. And see the beauty and what I love about Joseph and the Bible didn't say is like he did not complain about everything that he was going through. I mean, Potiphar's wife, she lied. You know, she she had him thrown into prison as well, saying that he wanted to, to sleep with her when it was the other way around. So she was embarrassed because she made an advance at him and he was a man of integrity. He would not do that to his master. Even though he was in a strange land, 
He had an appetite, blood run through his veins too. And yet still he ran away from the temptation. I mean, that is trust in God. That is faith. Moving to a whole nother country. Still going through things. And, you know, that is sometimes, sometimes we wonder as people who have a purpose on our life. It's like, why is it my life is so hard? Why is it so difficult? Why is it so many oppositions? It's because God is refining us through the fire like diamond. See, the diamond, the fire burned the diamond. You know, it's like it, 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 it's a process. But it's like it, it didn't hurt the diamond. You understand? It still did what it was set out to do. So like even though people may try to turn up the fire and the flames of life underneath you, there is something inside of you that needs to be purified, that needs to be purged. And that same fire that they're turning up underneath you is going to end up making you Making you, in the end result, making you the man, the woman that you're supposed to be. But it's just that when you're going through it, it's uncomfortable. But again, it's just knowing. It's like Joseph, he knew that God gave him that dream. He didn't know how it was going to happen. Because if he thought it was going to happen in his own country, well, he was in a whole other country. And I mean, he probably thought, mm, I, I don't know, but I'm, I'm still going to trust you, God, to see how this is going to play out in my life. And I'm so glad he didn't give up in spite of everything that he went through. And in the end, he had all of them, he forgave them and he had all of them move to where he was. I mean, this is this is just how... God is moving, and for a lot of you, a lot of us, I'm telling you, people are going to be amazed in awe. God will allow your enemies, your haters, to live, to see his fulfillment, his command come to pass. We will reap if we faint not. Do not give up. Do not give up. So now it's not funny. So when they encountered Joseph and found out that, you know, this is really Joseph, he's not dead. Can you imagine how shocked they were? I mean, just like how a lot of people have been sending out all kind of things in the spiritual realm and the stalking, the watching and the gossiping. And it's like, you are still here. I mean, a lot of them, they are shocked. They're scared too. They're scared too. Because it's like, think about Joseph's brothers when they found out he's still alive. And they know that he remembers what they did to him. How they were shaking in their boots. How they were shaking. And this is why a lot of the oppositions, a lot of the haters, they are shaking right now. Because after everything they have been doing, and you are still here. You still stand. So now they know what is coming for them. So a lot of them, they're not laughing now. It's not funny anymore. It's not funny. They cannot stop the star from shining. And you know I love this little phrase. We are stars. They cannot stop us from shining. This is something that is inside of us. Before we were born. This is not something that we just walk into it is something it's like the star it's there before time before we were born right so it doesn't matter people may try to say they want to steal it they want to block it no it's it is within us and as long as we are not giving up we are not forfeiting on on our star and and what we god said we are supposed to be they can do whatever they want but it sure will not work. It won't work. So for a lot of you, you know, your faith will be renewed and your hope will be restored. Just like 
Joseph, his faith was renewed and his hope was restored because after everything that he went through and to see that, oh my God, God still promoted him, elevated him. He still had favor with God. Wow. Yes, his faith was renewed. And for a lot of you, you need to know it's your time to shine. And this is why they cannot stop you from shining. It's your time to shine. They are not laughing now because they're realizing everything that they tried to do to you. It didn't work. It can't work because why you are here to break generational curses. Some of you, you already did. You already broke those and you're on your way. You're on your way. It's your time to shine. And you just need to know. It's like God told this prophet, don't worry about the look on their faces. Just do what you're supposed to do. Just shine. You're the star. Just be yourself. See the, uh, the and here it says, staying true to yourself. Stay true to yourself. And this is what Joseph did. He did not lose sight of who he was or who he is. In spite of, he was in a strange land. It's like he knew the calling on his life. And, and this is why for a lot of you, a lot of us, when you know what you know, nobody can try to rattle your boat. But see, when you are inconsistent, when your faith is you know, back and forth, up and down. You need to seek people to confirm, you know, if you're going to be this or do that. That means you don't know who you are. But when you know who you are, when you know the plans and the promises that God has for you, God, I trust you. I don't know how it is going to happen. I don't know how it's going to come to pass, but I believe in you. And that is the confirmation. That is the, the reassurance that you need to have in yourself to be true to your cause. That it doesn't matter where you go and people are doing things and they want you to engage, to lower your vibration. Nope, I'm going to stay high. I'm going to go high. Yes, he was, you know, his past. See, the thing is, even though he went to jail, people would say in today's society that he's finished. Who is going to hire him? Who is going to promote him? Right? But I'm telling you, when the favor of God is upon you, his integrity, his character spoke for itself. Even when he was in prison, he was a leader. They were able to trust him there. So, you know, it's like word got around. Because, see, the thing is, people over time, in the beginning, people may believe the lies, right? But after people start seeing you, everybody will realize, no, 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 something is not adding up here. Something is not adding up. What he was arrested for, this man, his integrity, his character... It does not say who he is. And this is how a lot of these people now, they're filting on their heels because it's not funny anymore. Because before they were able to get everybody to gang up. They were able to convince people to do something to you. Just like how Joseph brothers, they were able to gang up and to convince each other to let's throw him in the pit and you know, put his clothes in some blood and take it home and show her dad that he's dead. They were able to all vote on that. So a lot of these people, they were able to plan this story and sold it. And a lot of people bought it. But your character, your integrity, your light will shine. Nobody can hide a light. It's going to show. It will come to pass. You are a star. They cannot stop you from shining. And Spirit is saying it's your time to shine. Now they have to fade away in the background. Yes, because a lot of them, they were trying to cause unnecessary delays. This is what I'm telling you. Joseph brothers, they thought that if we sell him off, if we get rid of him, 
We will never have to bow to him. That dream will never come to pass. So a lot of them, they're thinking if we can delay him, tell lies, sabotage, assassinate their character, stalk them, try to put pieces of nothing together. It's like putting a puzzle together to paint a picture. You know, it's like pasting all messages and different things to make it seem like you're communicating with them. Whatever falsehood that they're doing, they're not laughing anymore. It's not funny. They thought they could create unnecessary delays for you by doing these things. But I'm telling you, in the meantime, that you are being delayed, God is cooking up something. All I can say to the haters is that, you know, go fight God. Be mad with God. But he is God. You are not God. So while they are delaying things, God is still working. God is still working. He doesn't stop working. While Joseph was thrown in prisons, God was building his character, giving him leadership qualities so that when the time come for him to move to the palace, he would be ready. He would be ready. So it's like, yes, thank the haters for being your elevators because they brought you up. If it wasn't for all the things that they did to you, you would know how strong you are. So this is why, yes, I know we want to be comfortable. I want to be comfortable. But all of this is to build that whatever it is that God promised you, it's to build you, it's, it's to give you that stamina for where you are going, that endurance. So here we have the tower. So yeah, it talks about a sudden shakeup, exposure. You know, God blew some things apart so you could see the people who were against you. I mean, I'm sure perhaps Joseph didn't realize how wicked his brothers were. Can you imagine? They threw him in the, the pit and they sat there and waited until, you know, they saw these trade men passing by and they got rid of him. You know, all the way there, you know, walking, going along, I can only imagine. He was saying, my own blood, my own brothers. He must have been worried about his dad because his dad loved him too. And they were jealous of that too. You know, so he was worried about his dad and just thinking, how could your own flesh and blood do that to you? This was a big revelation to him. And I think too, when you go through terrible things with your own flesh and blood, that when you go around strangers, it's like you don't expect much because it's kind of like, well, you know, if my own families, they hurt me. If strangers even hurt me, it, it can't be as hard or bad as what my own did to me. And so he realized that blood is not thicker than water. Because in a lot of instances, see, he went into a strange land and he had favor there. He was promoted there. In spite of everything else, he was respected there. So, you know, it's, it's just sometimes looking at it, you know, a different perspective. Again, it, it kind of allow you or it allows you not to expect too much from people. Allow people to show you who they are themselves. Because like I said, when your own, when your own can sabotage you, do wicked things to you. I mean, I think that's like a big blow a big shock to you. It's like that does something to you. It, it makes you tough. It hardens you. You know, for a lot of you, you may have seen like, seem as if you were alone, but you actually outnumber them. And the reason is that because you have God, you have your angels, you have your ancestors and your guides with you. You have the entire army and host in heaven who are applauding you, who are celebrating you. 
Because God know you don't do these people nothing. But again, there for a lot of these people, their sole purpose in this life is to help to take you to where you're supposed to go. They are the bus, the train, the plane, the elevator, the staircase to take you to where you have to go. <laughs> Your third eye. So, you know, again, it's like, and for a lot of people, you know, you're realizing you have a gift of sight to see. It's like a lot of you, you know, and, and again, it's just like with Jeremiah, this gift is placed inside of us. God gave us this gift of sight. Again, for a lot of you, a lot of us, even as children, you were able to see spirit. It's like your gift was very much clear, awakened. But I think as we get older, you know, just like our intuition, it's, it's, it's there. But then people try to make you think as if you're crazy. And then you kind of lose sight of that. But it's there. It's like, this is the time to, to and for a lot of you, you are now awakened. Your third eye is awakened. You can see in the spirit and in the physical realm. Things that, again, to the human mind, it's boggling because, again, not everybody is tapped in to their gifts and their calling. And it's just like with, with, with Joseph here. You know, he has a gift inside of him. And his brothers, they may not have liked it because he had the sight, you know, the, the gift of seeing. And because of that, you know, it's kind of like people can get scared because you're able to see through them. And I think that's why a lot of people may be afraid of persons who are tapped into their gifts because it's like they were able to fool a lot of people and it's like you show up on the scene and it's like they quickly want to get rid of you why and again when people want to get rid of you whether it's from a place a family a friend group whatever it is it's because they know that you know that they're up to no good and you're going to blow their cover because they have been able to fool a lot of people all this time. And now you, who are you? You come and you see. I mean, if, if I was, you know, somebody who is not tapped into their gift, I would want to be friends with somebody who is able, you know, to use their gift to, to, to see things in the physical and the spiritual realm who have that relationship with God. But a lot of people, they may not like you. They don't want to receive you again because of your gift, your gift of sight. You know, so a lot of you, yeah, your spirit guides shut down these people. It's not funny anymore. When I tell you your angels, your God, your angels, your ancestors and your God, because the truth is you have a calling on your life. A lot of you, you're generational curse breakers. And because of that, your, your, your ancestors, your guides, they're going to show up for you because you are doing something that they were not able to do. So it's like they're cheering you on and they're also helping to pick off these haters and these losers. Now it's not funny anymore. And so for a lot of you, you see, again, it's your time to shine. You know, it's like you have an audience. In the spiritual realm as you're standing there you know it's like yes your purpose it's your time to shine for some of you it's in communication as well as spirit is communicating with you giving you downloads this is number 10 endings bring new beginnings so a lot of you in you breaking these curses in your family and your lineage you were hearing from god he was giving you information download signs you know through music through you know through with birds and and different things you were hearing from god and and a lot of these people 
some of you, you're getting this communication from God. And this is why you're called to not, not allow people to stop you from shining your light. Because you have a gift. Some of you, it's a gift of communication. You know, where you'll be speaking about your journey. What you have been through as well. And it's like, don't be afraid. Because it's like... You won't be doing this alone because on this card, it's like you have the birds flying back and forth. So it's like you hear from God. You communicate with God. And this is why he'll be giving you the information. Again, don't be afraid of the look on their face. Stay true to yourself. And for a lot of you, it's like it's time. It is time. It is time to stay true to yourself. You've been dumbing down yourself long enough, hiding who you are, hiding the gift, your gift. And it's time for you to stay true to yourself. Stay true to who you are. I'm telling you, because these people, you're shining. And they see it and it's not funny. They're not laughing after everything they have done to try to cause unnecessary delays and stagnancies in your life. Oh, it's not funny anymore for them. You know, a lot of them, they are embarrassed. You know, I wonder if some of these people would be open to like giving like a, a reference letter or something to say how many challenges that they've placed in, in your way, in our way to create blockages. And, uh, you know, it's like their, their draw, <laughs> their, their joy is still you know, on the floor because they're just blown away as to how you overcame or survived some things. I wonder if somebody would testify as to how they hated you so much and how far they went to, to block you, to stop you, to slow you down. And yet still, I'm telling you, you are making a believer out of a lot of people. People will have to. See, this is why I believe when the Bible says every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord, because people will be blown away by the things that they have done to you. And it's like, they're gonna say there must be a God. People are gonna turn to God because of the things that they have done and you're still here. I'm telling you, I mean, I can't imagine how Joseph's brothers, how they felt knowing that he was alive and they're standing right in front of them. And actually it came to pass. They had to bow to him. They had, you had, you know, it, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. And it's like, Hmm. It's like we have here the three monkeys. And I don't know. I'm sure there, you know, it's number 32, 5. It's change. You know, it's like I'm looking at three dumb monkeys who are unable to see. They can't speak. They don't listen. They don't take advice. They're not willing to acknowledge their negative issues, their problems. They don't want to pay attention. It's like they see that what they're doing to you, it's not working, but they're still willing to keep on going. It's like the three blind mice. You see, it's like, I'm telling you, it's not funny now. Some of them, they now their mouth shut. This one has his hand over his mouth. This one has his hands over his eyes. This one over his ears. They don't want to see. They don't. They, no, they have nothing to say. I'm telling you, they are blown apart because of all the things that they have done, and they exhaust themselves. And God is still God, and you will still. Get what God says it's for you. It shall come to pass. So you see, it's like 
you are here it says spirit guides is like you know you are singing or speaking you know it's like whatever your gifts are because you're shining now it's your time to shine and for them it's not funny anymore you see it's not funny anymore so one based on what you're saying is like the mouth shut they have to close them out they have nothing to say they are ashamed one can't look at you <laughs> they hate they can't stand to see your light one don't want to hear what you're saying because you're speaking the truth oh my god i love it won't god do it won't he do it keep pressing my family's celebration mm. champagne celebration see this is what this tower yes even though this tower may have been painful you finding out some things that's been going on behind you you but i'm telling you i love the tower i love the tower because when the tower comes it means that things are cleared away things are exposed and it's now time to move on it's time they cannot stop the star from shining. It's your time to shine. Your, your faith is renewed. Your hope is restored. And you're staying true to yourself. They tried to slow you down. No, it's not funny for them anymore. It ain't fun when the shoe is on the other foot. Or when the rabbit, you know, you know, finish it, right? <laughs> I love this. I love it for you. I love it for us. God is for us. Yes, the tree of life, it's in you. It's on you. And the gifts, they are in your hands. Until next time, all of this abundance.